Hi, so basically I just did a video on these labels here. So you can see this is labeled and it's basically giving me the number of bolts and then it's giving me the anchor description. So I just don't like the way it's laid out. I like to have this in brackets, get rid of the X and then have the diameter of the bolt at the front and then the type of bolt and then I'll have the length and uh, so I want to change that so what you want to do is you want to go into your management tools and uh, let's close that you want to go into your anchors and uh, let's go to your anchor and this anchor is this one here the J square anchor and what you want to do is you want to change the part name so you can see here I've done one of them so I just changed it. I put a half inch for the diameter at the front, then the name, and then 12 inches long. And then I put the, the hook on it. Dimension is here in the end. So then you want to apply that. Everything else should be fine. Uh, now you want to go and make all these match afterwards. So copy paste and change the length. Just be careful the last dimension changes just the once. And... Then you come in here and what I want to do is when we update this, uh, we're going to get, uh, right now I actually have it updated. So this would come in like this. It's going to come in this way with the four by one. So it'll come in with the same four by at the start. But what I did was I came in to, so we'll back up here sorry we'll back up so what i did was i went into my drawing style in here and go to my detail view and object presentation come down to your anchor bolts and what i did was i was already using my own label here anyway so the adm three thirty seconds so instead of this being the number of anchors where is it uh, let's cancel out that sorry uh, let's open it again so instead of that being this token here which is number of bolts before I had number of bolts in here and then there was an X for the multiple for the amount of bolts and what i'll do is i'll just change it to that apply use and then it, it comes in this way so just change those two things you want to change you want to change the part name in here and then you want to change your your label slightly uh so whatever way you want to do it that's the way i like to do it i'm sure you want to do it a different way but maybe that'll help. All right. Thank you. Bye.